Okay, hello. Um, this is a tutorial on how to find an, the uh, an ID to get uh, like a downloadable version of this that you can put up uh, for yourself under here, or, or you could use it for your game. Now, so I set this up before. So what you need to do is go on to this page. I've set the link up in the description. Um, you need to uh, actually like get it first. And then I'm just gonna go over to my game. Uh, it's, there we go. Now what you need to do is it should be in my models. You can see it here. Uh, click like. You, you don't have to, but it's it's you can still it's pretty good. Um, and then just drag it into your game like that. Now there should be. I've just got a. Uh, I've just got like a, a base plate little game here. There might be some more, but that should be fine. Is Access ID finder. Now I'm going to click the file name script readme. Alright, now let me just delete this. This is the script you'll need. So you have to paste in. So I'll just walk you through like getting the shirts. Now this is the actual thing you'll need. So let me just go back to the. Uh, this. Now if you look at the URL, there is. If you look at the URL. There is, this is the number that you need, robox.com slash catalog. Slash catalog slash. It's just the number, none of the slashes, or, or anything else. And you want to copy, copy paste that. And you want to paste it in right here. And then what you want to do next is you want to hit this play button. Uh, it, it could also be uh, here. And there is another play button right here. So if you click any of those three, then if we're gonna go back it loads then um, okay there should be a, a little like a sort of um, your thing here you know you need to go back into your workspace right here and then this is my player this is the thing before you're gonna to to go into this new thing this completely new thing called model now you uh there's a thing called shirt here that got created as well. Um there's not much you can actually can do with it except for putting it in your own or you can copy it and put it in other models, which is really awesome. You can also use this for game development. Um but this is the one you really need. And so it this is different from the other one, because look, you just have to copy paste this. Copy. And what you need to do next is you go back into your browser and you need to, from the item of the ID, you need to paste that, the new item, into it. And this is the original shirt design of it. And you can see it has like the little template and the stuff on there. And so you can just, uh, you can just right click that and put save image as and you can even upload it to Roblox if you want. Um, that's, the, that's the end of the tutorial really. Um, if you want to learn how to upload it, um, I'm sure Roblox says uh, there are some other tutorials there, I might make one uh, myself. Or you can actually, you have to have a uh, membership actually, so there's that. Um, it's, does work with t-shirts too, I hope. Uh, I can also show you how to put it in your so little shirt and then just drag it into your player model. Up here, up here, up here. Um, this is only temporary, it's not actually... Okay, I'm just gonna have to put it here and delete the second the first shirt. Look, I've got uh, I've got a cool uh, thing. I have to delete the t-shirt. There we go. Cool little uh, marshmallow graphic. Now this isn't like uh, permanent. It's not actually giving it the shirt. This is just trying it on. But you can use this for your games and stuff, and I do recommend it. Um, if you could give my actual model a like, that would be great. Love it. Um, if you could donate with my groups, and yeah, it would be fine. Uh, thank you. Bye.